With three days to go before the referendum, the Central Election Commission went on an inspection tour of a Taipei polling station. The head of the commission and several lawmakers ran through a simulation of the voting process. On the big day, citizens will be screened for a fever outside the station. Those who don't pass will be detected to be directed to a special booth where they'll still be able to vote. An election worker demonstrates each step voters should take on the big day. Outside the polling station, voters must first get their temperatures checked and hand sanitized. Today, a lawmaker asks if people with a fever can still vote. The 4 in 1 referendum is this Saturday. Ahead of the vote, Central Election Commission head Li Jingyong and legislators visited a polling station to check that everything was in place. They inspected the voting procedure and traffic flow. Before receiving their ballot papers, voters will be asked to take off their mask for an identity check. Voters can choose how many of the four ballots to pick up. Afterward, they'll enter a polling booth to cast their votes. There will be special booths for voters who arrive with a fever, but people in quarantine or home isolation will not be able to vote. After making their choices, each ballot should be inserted into the ballot box of the corresponding color. This is the first time that Taiwan has held a referendum separate from a general election. The Referendum Act does not prohibit the release of opinion polls on the day of the vote. However, it's illegal to interfere with or persuade other voters within 30 meters of a polling station. Using loudspeakers to create noise within 30 meters of a station is also strictly prohibited. It's illegal to wear any accessories related to the referendum, including masks. But each campaign in this referendum has issued its own face masks. If on voting day there are instances that fall in a gray area, how will a determination be made? We will use the objective criteria of lived experience to determine whether an accessory is related to the referendum. Everyone who has been alive in this society should be able to know it when they see it. The CEC head said that steps would be taken to prevent the chaos that unfolded during the 2018 referendum, which was held alongside a local election. The ballot boxes will be opened in order, but if a polling station has a greater number of votes, it will be allowed to open two ballot boxes at the same time. There were tremendous lines of voters in 2018. This year, there will not be such long lines. Ahead of the December 18th referendum, the CEC is pouring over every detail to ensure a smooth voting process.